Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dave. Welcome back. I want to thank everybody who's shown their love and support for the channel. Appreciate it, guys. And if you can share the video, it really does help. Thanks. Okay, tonight I'm just going to talk. Okay. Do, are you guys feeling depressed at all? Pressured? Anxious? Angry? You know, confused? Worried? You know, all those things? I am feeling some of them. And I have friends that are feeling it too. Like I had one friend that said, um, I don't spend any money on anything. And she has $237 left. After she got paid today, she collected rent from her tenant. And then she paid her bills. She works two jobs. It's not like she sits around and does nothing. Um, and I hear that all over the place. I, I know guys with businesses that are struggling. They're sitting there going, you know, the town the town is saying, I want my tax money. And they're going, well, I got to make money to pay you. And they're going, well, we'll just put your place up for auction. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? You know, I think COVID made it so they got everybody to stay at home and be quiet. So many things are happening. Like I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about my local government. So many things are trying to get pushed through. And people are starting to get fed up with it. Okay, now I'll tell you one thing. My last council meeting, it was a big explosion in it. I even had a counselor come out and start barking at me. Bep, 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 at me. Like I'm sitting there going, Pfft. and I, I, didn't, I didn't cause any of it. Everybody is so tense. Nobody's got money to pay taxes. But the government continuously wants to spend, and that's on all levels. Okay, municipal, provincial, federal. So we have that, we have um, wages. Our wages can't keep up with the cost of everything. And every time everybody gets a raise, well, the cost of everything goes up. And it's just like, it just does this all the time. So everybody is under the gun. They're under the gun about their housing situation. Do rent, own, you know, taxes, mortgages, rents, everything. And I think the pressure is building up so bad. And it's been bothering me the last few days. Actually, it's been bothering me a little bit while longer than that. And uh, my friend uh, tonight mentioned to me, she said, you know, just take it easy, put it out of your mind. And yeah, the only problem is it sticks in my mind. Everything that goes on sticks in my mind and it builds up and builds up. If I'm feeling it, I know some guy, some of you guys are too, okay? And I want you to know we're all in this together. I feel for you, that's why I'm doing this, is because I want to raise your awareness so you know what's going on, so you're not caught unprepared. So you have a little bit of knowledge, maybe to push through on things a little bit and help yourselves. Um, there's only so much I can do. I fight on every level, and I do. I fight for Canada. Federal, provincial, municipal, I, I, I try and do the good fight. And I know a lot of you guys do too. And, but I, I also understand that some of you may be just too beaten down to do it. I get that. I really do. Because it, it feels like somebody's constantly punching in the kidneys and you're going, geez, I don't know how much more I can take. And instead of being that person that can stand up and take it, you know, you're starting to flinch. You're starting to pull away from it. And that's, that's how things are getting pushed through that really hurt us. But I want you to know I'm fighting for you. I want you to know I support all of you. I respect all of you. I, I love hearing your comments. And I love how people are starting to realize, like I've seen progression in some people, how they've started to realize that, hey, wait a sec. I've even seen people that commented saying, I voted for Justin Trudeau. Like that takes a big set to come on here and say, I voted for Justin Trudeau, but I won't do it again because I've opened my eyes. And I'm going, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I really... I really honestly think that if we combine our effort, if we just keep pushing and pushing and pushing back, not letting us get mowed over, but pushing back and saying enough is enough. We need change. We need protection from our government. I think it will make a difference. I do. 
in some weird way, I think that the tides are changing. The push is on. And I know you guys got me, and I got you guys too. Let's keep the momentum going and get rid of Justin Trudeau and change Canada back if we can. You guys take care. Please be safe.